I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. We can spend our Hi, bookish peeps. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name's Kate. We're in my house, but not my library today. We are dealing with a lot of dog disruption, so I ex please excuse um, the huffing, the puffing, the tippy tappies, the barkings, uh, and the drinking of water and eating of food. Um, they're a little bit extra today, uh, probably because I'm downstairs, but anyway. Um, for this video, I plan to do a little bit of a reading, annotating kind of vlog sitch. Um, and I thought it would be therapeutic of me. One second. Therapeutic of me to read a book I've read before and annotate it. And a new book that everyone tells me is absolutely amazing. And there goes the dogs again. Okay, so this one is my a new copy. It is fresh. I have not touched it. It still has the sticker on the back. This one cost me $19.99. Uh, it is a Love Hypothesis, obviously, by Ali Hazelwood. But it's a new edition with the bonus chapter from Adam's perspective. Um, it even has a TikTok made me buy it sticker on the back. So um, I want to go through and I want to pretty annotate this. I think that would be very therapeutic of me. I may listen to the audiobook as well, um, but probably at like normal speed, not two times speed, because that's me. Um, but I have my essentials, as you saw from earlier. And the other book is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Men Mendana. I'm really sorry if I butchered that name. Um, I'm really horrible at names. Yeah. Um, but I have heard so many things about this book. Uh, so many people have told me that it is like the perfect cozy fantasy or cozy witchy fantasy i love books um witchy books sorry <laughs> i love books in general <laughs> um i love witchy books uh last year for halloween around the halloween time i did like a heap of witch books that um i hadn't read before so like the x hex and all that kind of stuff and i fell in love with the witchy books so we're going to continue this. I have seen um, Alexander Rosalind. Um, she's also a booktuber that talks about this book and how much she absolutely loves it. I am so excited to read this. Also, look at this cover. I went to see this like, um, like shiny bit there. I went to like wipe it off today because I thought it was oil, but it's actually just sunlight. And then on the back, there's like leaves. If you can see that as well. It's so cute. Um, there is a dog on the inside. There is a dog on the inside. Anyway, I don't know much about this. The most I know is I there is this woman who is a witch and there is an advertisement for um, a live-in like, tutor um, for three young witches. Um, doesn't have to have teaching experience, apparently on the back, um, but witchiness essential. Um, I do believe, though... 
um, with witches in this world that they're fully secret and they don't get together. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Uh, apparently on the cover it says the cozy magical romance you've been waiting for. So I hope I have been waiting for that. So I'm going to read this. It's also on my 23 books for 2023. So so excited. Um, I also have my bookmark for the irregular witches. I have annotating um, tabbies that I haven't set up for the love hypothesis yet. Um, I have a little Lego I want to do. Um, I know it's not spooky season, but I think I have reverse seasonal depression. I have lots of a depression, but we won't go into that. But like, I hate summer. Like, summer and the heat and they're being stuck inside it makes me so cranky. I love autumn because it's like autumn and spring. Perfection. Summer can go die in a hole. That's that's what I think anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take the dust jacket off this book because I don't want to damage the dust jacket. It is a beautiful purple underneath and then just going to put this in my book sleeve just so it doesn't get damaged and I'll put it over here this is my quirky cut collective book sleeve too it's like my fave and it's also huge because it like holds so many things and then my bookmark is also quirky cut collective like are we surprised no um I do also have um I do also have leather bookmarks that I absolutely um, but I don't want to damage them. I know you can't really damage them as much because they're leather, um, but oh, I love them. Um, I'm actually a rep for Earthbound Bookmarks um, that do leather bookmarks and you can get them personalized to what you want and they're just perfection. Uh, if you want that code, follow the link down below. Um, otherwise, I'm going to decide which one I'm going to read first. I don't know. I'm going to ask Instagram. That's what I'm going to do. Which one to read first? And I'll get back to you. Bye.
Hello lovely people. I thought I'd give you a reading update. I've just hit the 100 page mark. Sorry, Sam's down here too. Hit the 100 page mark of the Love Hypothesis. I have annotated it as well. So I've actually drawn some lines under things that I really liked and tabbed to different things. Um, I'm tabbing for funny, Adam quotes, sad, love, vibes and olive as well. So they are definitely getting the work out i hope i don't run out but if i do i'll just switch colors so that's fine um yeah so i'm 100 pages in the book is it has the extra scene so it goes to like 393 pages so that's pretty good uh there's no spoilers for me because i've already read this so it's all good um i have just myself made myself and sam an afternoon coffee um i'm having a gingerbread latte sam is having a i don't know caramel latte who knows he's um reading his book and listening to music because i have convinced him to become a bookworm i'm just going to show you him He's just sitting over in his little corner there, reading his book off his iPad instead of reading the physical book. I don't understand him either, but anyway. Uh, and then these two are fighting over a stick and they've just woken up for him. A lovely nap. Um, I have three drinks going. No judgment. Um, I was going to use my pink pen, um, but the ink is like heaps far down and so that one's dead. Um, I have used the blue for a little bit. Um, the textures that I picked to use, they bleed, so I won't be using them. So I've just been underlining and scribbling and tabbing and that kind of stuff. Um, probably going to have a bit of a break now that I'm at the 100 page mark and going to do my Lego uh, and watch some TV, I think. Um, this is the little Lego kit that I'm doing. I did an owl, like pumpkin one the other, yesterday, so... Um, these ones can hang, but I don't know if I'll hang them. I'll just probably sit them places. So that's fine. Um, so yeah, going to do that. Really enjoying the annotating. I did put a poll up on Instagram to find out, um, how other people annotate. Cause I, I used to annotate just for school and like, um, like when I was at uni, I used to annotate that way. Um, like tabbing for different, like theories tabbing for different like emotions or previously for like school i've tabbed for like techniques like form feature structure so this is more like feels so yeah it's it's a different experience but I, i'm keen to see what other people do um and what they tab for theirs um but yeah should see what samuel's doing What are you reading? Quest of the Hidden City. Quest of the Hidden City. It's his next book in the High Republic series. Um, pretty sure it's the young adult or kids novel. Uh, so middle grade. Middle grade? Yeah. Yep, middle grade. Um, but he likes to know all the things in all the universes. So, yeah. Uh, he'll give you an update later on. And find out what how many pages he's read. Because I've read 100 now. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go put something on the TV and make some Legos.
have Fred the Spider, or Fred the Funnel Web. Um, it's not really a funnel web, but anyway. And then we have a little haunted mansion. I don't know if it's going to focus on it, so I can just show you. Yeah, there we go. It has some cute little designs. And then there's a little ghosty in this top tower here. I love it so much. They're meant to hang, but I don't want to hang them. They're just going to go over with my owl over here. So let's put them over there. So this is Herbert the owl. Whoops, I just knocked over back 10. I'll just put it back. Stay back 10. Uh, the little spider. I won't put the haunted mansion in front of the puppy cam, but I'll put it down here. There we go. My little Halloween section. I do have a Lego cat somewhere too, but I think I put him up.
lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through Thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead I've been running in circles Trying to catch my... You wouldn't believe it But I found the perfect place for you And it's on top of my nail polish box who knew? Um, we are now home. It is now the next day. Um, it's actually Sunday. Can't remember if I did anything yesterday. If I didn't, apologies. It was a day. Um, so we are back home. We have been to the library today. Um, we wanted to go to the book cafe. And, well, we. I wanted to go to the book cafe and actually the first time actually have some food there and have a look around the old library and have a look at the exhibition and the bookshop and all that kind of stuff well um the reading rooms don't open till 1 30 so there go that plan but everything else was really nice so that was good um we ended up going to the bus depot markets they had nothing uh never doing that again um and then we went to um fishwick farmers markets and got some food sorry for the straw it's my cup um i haven't read a lot i put a hold on um the love hypothesis and i started reading uh, the very secret society of irregular witches and i am on chapter two which is a page 14 so i read 14 pages um i think yesterday it's just been very hot i've been very tired um i've just woken up from a nap like a three hour nap um because we went out um i'm just dealing with a lot of fatigue at the moment but yeah so i've just had some um lunch even though it's like nearly four o'clock and sam's doing the washing it's nearly done the doggies and i are sitting on the lounge watching olivia read the latte and i'm eating some skittles it's very exciting i know um but i thought i'd give you a reading update i'm probably going to read some more of the very secret society um because it's such like a, a cozy narration too like it really puts you in the moment um but yeah I will chat with you when I've read some more. Audi. Really? Um, you okay, Papa? <laughs> hey? Are you tired, Poppy? Are you all tired, Poppy? Odin's like, I don't understand what's going on in my life right now. You can lay down, Papa. Lay down. Oh, hi, Odie. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and they're gone. In the middle of winter, like... So apparently I'm too lazy to go upstairs and get my camera, so I'm just going to use my phone. Um, I really need to go have a shower and wipe this makeup off. But anyway, I am now on chapter 6. On page 66 of the book, and oh my god, that was the easiest read ever. Um absolutely loved it it's like 
Mary Poppins, but witchy. Absolutely love the dog, Cersei. Love the name of the dog. Like, so cute. Love the book so much. It's giving me all the vibes. All the descriptive language, too. Um, she just described the addict um, that she's going to be living in. And the imagery that was created was just so beautiful absolutely loved it sorry for the noise in the background that would be the wash machine and dryer um but it was just so beautiful i'm loving it so much i'm probably just going to just keep reading this i might go have a shower soon and wash all the makeup off um but yeah i'm i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm i'm hoping that jamie's a love interest if not meh and yeah so cute so cute I might give like a full spoiler review of this so uh, when I do spoilers I will make sure I put spoiler at the bottom of the page uh, of the page oh my gosh of the video so that you know but yeah so cute so so cute Ooh, I can't stop yawning but anyway I've got my full coffee shop bookstore ambience with relaxing jazz going with no mid um something credit not mid credit um ads it's by calm by nature it's really good i'll leave a link down below as well um but yes i think i might go have a shower now before i read the next chapter because it seems like a good spot to stop um and settle in for the night but yeah loving it so far i'll catch you in the next update people coming at you weeks later and I'm talking probably next month um and at a new angle and on my phone and at night time um <laughs> the last time I spoke to you guys it was I was going to have a shower <laughs> I was gonna have a shower and then I just I had to stop so um on good news though I did finish reading this book um I binge read it it was amazing like i at some points i stopped reading because i didn't want it to end i absolutely absolutely loved this book and there's a cat going past of course there is. um so um i finished reading this book i did not read any more of the love hypothesis i read 100 pages i did go through and fix up the tabs so they were all the same um but I'm still only up to 100 pages. I really want to get the audio book, but then I don't want to use my audio credits, audio audible credit for um, a reread. So anyway, I did finish reading this and this is going to be like a wrap up version of this because I really want to get this vlog up because I did enjoy some parts of it, um, but I could tell that I was not okay. Not that I'm 100% yet, but anyway. So this book follows, oh God, I can't remember name, her name now. Okay, so this book follows Mika Moon and she is part of a very secret society of witches. And they are witches across the country of England and like the British Isles kind of thing. And um, they get together once every three months to um, discuss any spells and update on their life and all that. They've been told for years by um, their like head of the coven called Primrose that they should not get uh, too much together because when they're too much together then it creates too much magic and magic is kind of like its own entity within itself like not a physical personification but it like has um, like traits and like it can be a bit mean sometimes and it's like playful and that kind of stuff. But anyway, Mika Moon is a YouTuber, which I thought was super cute. Um, and uh, she catches the eye of this older gentleman who I'm thinking of, like the guy who plays Gandalf. Like I picture him in my head, but anyway. Um, and she's invited to be a tutor at this house um for three young witches now these are orphan witches as well um and she is tasked with getting their magic under control but also 
uh, tasked with winning the heart with one of them. Uh, there is a Liberian guy. I can't remember his name. I keep thinking him as Giles, but it's Jamie. Okay, so his name's Jamie. Um, I picture him as like, oh, oh, I don't know how to put it. Like he's very studious. I reckon he'd wear like waistcoats and like wear glasses and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I looked at some fan casts online and they got the guy from um, Fifty Shades of Grey. And I'm like, yeah, I could see that. Like if he wasn't weird. Um, anyway, I absolutely love this. She falls in love with Jamie. Uh, well, Jamie falls in love with her first. And like she's not sure about... Um, staying there because she's always moved on and I thought that was a really cute aspect of it that you don't read much of the the fact that they're the kind of the guy falls first uh, which was super cute uh, it's kind of like found family and the ending was everything and the dog Cersei and her little yellow beetle called broomstick oh loved it um Honestly, I think I need to do like a, a video where I talk about all like cozy fantasy reads because this is number one. I think this is going to be my book of the year and it's only March. Gosh, what's the rest of the year going to entail? I did read some more books since then, but I absolutely loved it. Five out of five. There is no like, I don't think I marked it down in anything in Corpel. It was just perfection um but yeah i'm gonna leave you guys here thank you for um understanding with my little break from youtube that i had i really appreciate all of you and i appreciate the love and support that you showed me um i hope to create more fun content soon if you want a specific video or there's something that you want to see please leave it in, in the comments down below otherwise keep on reading keep the magic alive thanks for visiting my library today and i'll see you next time another one of my videos bye